Oh my. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? You can't see how awesome my shirt is. Look at that thrift store gold right there. The best part about this shirt is it continues on the back. The party doesn't end on the front. It ends, it doesn't end. The party on this shirt doesn't end. Today is New Year's Day, but I probably won't be releasing this video for a little while, just because I wanna space them out. Um, since I have my goal of releasing one video a week, in addition to one podcast and one blog post, that'll keep me really busy. So the more I can get ahead in one over the other, uh, the better. Today, I wanted to talk about two things. The first is the vlogginess of my channel or whatever. I love the idea of vlogs and some people are so good at it, like Casey Neistat is a genius, I think. He's the only one who can do nothing and keep me watching glued to the computer screen for like 10 whole minutes. I think he's a genius. My New Year's Eve was awesome, as you can see. I don't want my channel to be just vlog uh, because obviously I like talking about a lot of other stuff on it besides what I do with my own life. So the second thing I want to talk about is my pet peeves or at least the one biggest pet peeve girls do when it comes to dating. Many of you may have seen the video I made for guys as far as how we can be better daters and things we can do better while we're dating women. but. A lot of people said, hey, you should make one of these for ladies. And it makes sense to me now that I know that 89% of my viewers are female. And it took me a long time to muster up the courage to create a video for how women can date better from a guy's perspective. This probably is not that video. I just wanted to talk about one thing that really drives me crazy when women do it in the dating sphere. And ironically, I guess it doesn't really have to do with them dating anyone as much as it has to do with how they present themselves other times. Earlier this week, I went into a coffee shop, met this beautiful girl, and we had so much in common. I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, she's awesome. I can't wait to get her number and ask her out. We must have talked for at least 20 minutes about all these different things we had in common, and it seemed to be going so well. Right? Wrong. Because when I asked her what she was doing tonight, she said, Oh, my boyfriend and I are going out for sushi. So I don't know exactly what the solution is to fixing this problem, but I hate when I'm excited about meeting a single girl who I have so much in common with, only to find out half an hour later that she's already seeing someone else. One of the worst weeks of my life, and I say that sarcastically, it wasn't really the worst week of my life, but twice in one week, this happened to me. I met a beautiful girl, asked her if she wanted to get lunch or get coffee sometime. She said, yeah, here's my number. The next day texts me, hey, do you want to go get some coffee today and work on some stuff in a shop? I said, sure, let's do it. We meet up chatting for so long. Uh, we have so much in common and then Later, after that, tells me she has a boyfriend. A few days later, the exact same thing happens. I'm chatting with this girl in a coffee shop. I don't live in coffee shops. It only seems like I do when I talk about them like this. But I asked this girl if she wanted to get lunch. And she said, yeah, let's do it. So we go to this semi-fancy lunch restaurant. In the middle of that conversation, she tells me she's dating someone else. Now, the thing I hear from women about this kind of thing is that they just think that they're being nice or they think the guy is being nice and they don't want to misinterpret or assume the wrong thing or assume he's being romantic when really he's just trying to be friendly. No, ladies, when a guy asks you to coffee or lunch, he's probably not just being friendly and that would be a good time to tell him you're seeing someone else. I don't know exactly what the solution is to fix this. If you're just chatting and being friendly like the girl today was, she didn't do anything wrong per se, but I would say my hopes were elevated because of how much we had in common, how long we chatted for before she told me 
she's seeing someone else. So I guess the takeaway today is this, ladies. If you're already seeing someone, don't be too friendly. I don't know. Or at least don't be friendly in a way that may lead someone on to reach the wrong conclusion too soon. I don't know if that's even good advice. I guess be aware of when you could potentially be leading someone on because most guys are not just being nice. I think that's it. All I know is it's a bummer for me when I chat with someone for half an hour thinking it's going somewhere only to find out afterward that there's no hope. So I know that that's not comprehensive of how women should date a guy by any means. Just a little observation I've made for my own life. I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.